Hey everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and I have here the PWPAM folding solar panel portable USB solar panel and I'm going to show you what all it comes with those of you who saw the intro video and the unboxing and first impressions have seen this already but for those of you who haven't seen anything yet I'm sort of starting over from scratch for y'all. You get a carrying case. It folds up nice and convenient there. You get two carabiners, and the purpose for that will show up in a minute. And then you get the solar panel, and of course a little handbook that tells you some details about it. We have here uh, model PW21 and it's 5 volts at 21 watts and that's pretty impressive for a portable folding solar panel like this um, max output per port 5 volts 3 amps and that itself is impressive a lot of the modern solar panels and USB ports are only 1 amp max and this has got 3 amps per port and there's something another thing unique which I'll get to in a minute on the ports. This is folded 11.4 by 7.7 .7 by 1.2 inches. I have to say I'm impressed for a Chinese made product it is in inches. The one they sent me here in the US at least. You rarely ever get that. I'm really surprised about that. Unfolded is 22.8 by 11.4 by 0 .08 inches. So and when they count the, th the, the height, I'm not sure they're counting this because when the unfolded, there's no thickness at all really to consider. So obviously the, the obvious part, put it in direct sunlight. So now over to the ports. This is unique. There are two normal USB ports and a type C charging port, the mini C charging port. That you never see on these folding uh, devices like this. So that's pretty cool. Now you open it up and you've got a very large not going to fit in my camera folding solar panel. You can see the size of this. It's pretty large. And um, they've got a unique waterproof, scratch proof, everything resistant cover on here. It's a, a, a almost a inverted pebbly texture. And something very important to note on this solar panel, they use the same materials, some of the same materials in the construction of these solar panels as the very, very expensive brands use. And this is a really affordable folding solar panel, especially for 21 watts, using the same type of materials in a very expensive solar panel which means you don't have to pay an outrageous amount of money to get a high quality device now I've had this around I've been dragging it back and forth with you almost every single day since I got it I, I uh, carry it to work with me carry it at home use it on the property whenever we have um, a sunny day I get this thing out there and I'm charging up my camera which is this here or my uh, portable flashlights and any other well portable LEDs I use this reason being this 21 watts is no joke I mean that's equivalent to a large solar panel on your on your uh, solar power array if you consider 21 watts you know it's a pretty decent sized panel considering that I can pump out 21 watts on this and save that much power continuously for my household use this is great to have even if you're off the grid and you have a solar power system for disaster and emergency um, I would highly recommend something like this that you have this because in a grid down scenario power out disaster situation no power anywhere you got no way to charge your cell phone for emergency use or a GPS to find your way around if you have gotta get to an emergency point or a meeting point or radio or portable LED lamps or your flashlight 
um, so any any USB power device you can charge with this in an emergency. Very very important for disaster. I would highly re recommend anybody just to get one of these to have on hand in case you lose power. Even if you're not considering off grid living, this could save your life one day. No joke. Now for hiking and camping, you got the carabiners. You can hook it up and hang it on your backpack really quick these are um, flexible corners so you gotta press it with your finger to get it in there but now pretty good springs on these too now I can hang it from my backpack or on my boat camper or on a tree you can hang it from anything you want um, I've seen these hanging from the back of a backpack while you're walking through the forest or the mountains charging your device on the go and that's really nice to have it's a neat little thing an extra that they threw in there they didn't have to to help make it easy for this to be used anywhere there are loops at every single joint and junction giving you two four six eight loops on this for you to hang it and suspend it in any way convenient for you that's another great thing. Um, I'm going to take you to a couple field um, use clips and then we'll be back here for the final words. Well, it turned out to be a beautiful clear day. There's just some clouds moving in now. It was clear all day. So um, it's starting to get colder out. I've been out in a t-shirt all day working all day out here. So the folding solar panel has served me well, and oh, it's covered with uh, snow fleas. Oh, snow fleas are a tiny little insect. Uh, they look like fleas, but they're not. So, yeah, they're done charging. I mean, they're not taking a charge anymore. So I'll get this all put away. Yeah, well, we'll see what the status is later. The colors on these show me the, the status of charge. And it's blue, so it's it's good. Well, anyway, free energy today. Time to pack it up and take it in for the night. I can't do it one-handed. I'll pack it up. Well, that's the 21-watt uh, solar charger. Hey, everybody. Try from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. It was sunny ish uh, got some clouds coming in a lot of snow on the ground I've had the PW Pam folding solar panel out here charging two flashlights that we use heavily two through night flashlights USB rechargeable using the two output ports you can see there is power uh, can you see the red LED there is power although it's currently overcast um, this one light isn't charging at this time, but this one, if I can get in there and show you the, the blue light is taking a charge. So I'm not sure exactly why the one is and the other isn't. Maybe it's, I'm not sure how that's wired inside or whatever, but now when the sun starts brightening, it'll start charging again. But anyway, this is great for this type of weather because it won't matter. It's waterproof. And that's one of the great things about this folding solar panel. I don't have to worry about what the elements are like at the time that I'm using it. Whether I'm fishing, hiking, boating, backpacking, or whatever, or sitting out here in my off-grid homestead. I can just use it no matter the weather. And the cold isn't bothering it either. So, I'm using free energy from the sun right now, charging up our devices. Especially... On the rare occasions like today that you get some good sunlight, well there was anyway, but with the sun reflecting, um, we'll get some good power out of that. And if you consider 21 watts at um, 5 volts, so 1 amp at 5 volts would be 5 watts. So there's a lot of power coming through here and enough to spare that in um, they'll be able to charge the devices even without full bright sunlight. So that's pretty good. Um, I mentioned some of the proofs, dust proof, waterproof. Um, this is impact resistant, so I wouldn't throw a rock at it, but it's impact resistant. 
and it's dustproof and waterproof. Now, of course, I would try to keep the electronics safe and clear. That's already just in the um, light in here. It's showing a charge. So it's also very, very good um, sensitivity to uh, to the light. This is under a fluorescent lamp. It's 21 to 23 and a half percent efficiency on these solar cells. So that's pretty impressive too. Now, although it is somewhat impact resistance, I wouldn't be bending this because you'll probably break the cells. Solar cells are uh, fragile. They can take some little bit, bit of flexing, but I wouldn't go bending this up. Fold it on its normal intended uh, creases here. Keep it in your case and try not to crush it. Don't sit on it and it'll last you forever probably. I mean, well, Solar, power, solar cells usually last about a good 30 years and still have 80% capacity. I'm not sure about this particular technology, but generally solar cells will last you a long, long time. Depending on your age, it could be a lifetime. To get the best results, you, as you've seen, I had it propped up against my car tire. I mean, you can use whatever you want. Out in the woods, prop it against a tree, against your backpack or whatever. But try to get it at a 90 degree angle to the sun for best uh, power conversion and best uh, best results. I have used it in uh, semi-cloudy days with um, partly overcast. Depending on your device, like a cell phone with the display, the um, with some of the folding solar panels it may actually discharge your cell phone if you have a, a day where it's getting cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny, because every time you disconnect the charging or the charging uh, the power output of the panel is less than what it, you, your phone needs every time you connect your display is going to come on every time you disconnect your display is going to come on that could actually use more power than what you could put into it it's not the fault of the solar panel if you can manage to uh, disable that feature in your cell phone then you won't have any issues most other devices are going to charge up just fine with this on a uh, in a, a day where there's cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny. Otherwise, you want to charge your cell phone, just make sure it's a pretty stable, light output, um, pretty bright, and you shouldn't have any problems with it at all. Now, as you've seen, I did charge some flashlights with this on my demonstration, and it was mostly cloudy that day with some occasional sun. The one flashlight topped out perfectly. The other, I'm not sure what was going on there. It wasn't fully charged, but um, that's not necessarily the fault of anything. I have to double check that flashlight later. It could be the battery or something. But anyway, depending on what you're charging, you've seen this is pretty, pretty powerful. And the charge indicator comes on. So you could charge um, low current devices or slow charge a battery bank even uh, in a dim in-house lighting so especially if you got something like this for emergency and disaster and you've got a power bank a portable battery bank leave this thing run and charge in that battery bank and charge it up over a period of days and then you've got portable power for emergency um, it's it's pretty good and pretty useful for a lot of different situations well, there you have it, guys. The PW21 folding solar panel. 21 watts, 3 amps at 5 volts of power. Get yourself one. Keep it on hand for emergency. Couple it up with your portable power banks and your LED flashlights or your LED lights. And you've got a full disaster preparedness pack right there. Portable, thin, lightweight, easy to carry, easy to stash. I throw it in my desk drawer when I'm not using it super convenient. I'll put the links down below. And thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and share and follow our videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. And definitely new, more solar power is always better when you're trying to become fully off the grid. Talk to you later.